All right, for more on this, the project director of the Society for Family Health, uh, whom you just saw now, Emeka Okafo, in, in that report, he joins us live in the studio. Thank you so much uh, for coming on News Night. Let me take it from that last bit. It seems the responsibility for family planning and controlling the population is being placed uh, uh, to a very large degree on the shoulders of the female folk. Why exactly is that? Well, because over the years, um, they have been the direct beneficiaries of family planning services, but that conversation is gradually changing. Mm -hmm. We are also targeting the male folk because it takes um, a man for a woman to get pregnant. So that conversation is also being amplified and also escalated such that, you know, the men folk will also know the path they need to play in allowing their, their spouses mm -hmm. to be able to um, have access to family planning services. All right, Emeka, right. Uh, how can we begin to effectively address Nigeria's geometric increase in population? That's one, and of course, two, what is the response, uh, if you like, the disposition of uh, families to family and birth control measures? Yeah, I think largely uh, family planning is still a very sensitive issue. Um, a lot of families don't fully understand why they should space their children. But one thing that is very clear is the fact that um, we must begin to plan uh, the birth of the children and in particular for the women we need to make sure that in between births the the, the woman is given enough time to recover you know mm -hmm. but what we find you see most families after having a, 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 a child of maybe eight, eight nine months the woman has taken in so it doesn't actually allow the body to fully recuperate from the process before the woman takes in. And that also contributes largely to maternal mortality. But when births are spaced adequately using contraceptives, then the woman will most likely be able to survive longer than what we find you know, these days. Let, the let's first, talk about... The first um, question is yeah. tackle it, uh, the geometric... Okay. How Nigeria can effectively address Nigeria's geometric increase? Y yes, because, place. I mean, the, one of the th ways to do that is to begin to Im increase access to family planning services. And mm -hmm. what the project, um, the Integrate E project is doing is be able to train the private sector, particularly the community pharmacists and the patent and proprietary medicine vendors, or those we call the drug chemists, to be able to provide family planning services within their limit and within their scope. Doing that, we are creating a lot of avenues for women to be able to assess family planning services. So now they have an option. It's either they go to the public sector facility where these family planning services are free, or they can actually go to a private facility where they can pay a little to be able to assess that service. So if you broaden access, you're most likely going to increase uptake. And when you increase uptake, then we begin to reduce the population. All right, we'll leave it there. Okay, so we're, we're leaving it is there. Is that it? Oh, wow. <laughs> we're leaving okay. it there, uh, Maka. Unfortunately, we've not even oh, scratched the surface. Yeah. The project so director, so family life, pharmacist, Michael Kerfo. Thank you so much for being on the program. Oh. Thank you very much.